Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, I am grateful to the International Information System Security Certification Consortium, ISC Squared, for the kind invitation to provide remarks to the inaugural Secure Asia Pacific Conference. With each passing day, our societies are becoming increasingly interconnected through rapidly expanding digital tools. Over the past three years, the COVID-19 pandemic transformed the way we work, socialize, and educate, pushing us even further online. In the face of such rapid digitalization, we have been presented with tremendous opportunities, including for achieving sustainable development objectives. At the same time, we are acutely aware of the risks associated with digital technologies and the challenges emanating from cyberspace. Over the last several decades, malicious use of information and communications technologies has become ubiquitous from widespread distributed denial of service attacks to proliferation of various forms of malware to other incidents targeting critical infrastructure. Against this backdrop, ensuring the peace and security of cyberspace has quickly become an urgent priority of governments. Over the last two decades, states have engaged under the auspices of the United Nations General Assembly to develop a normative framework for responsible state behavior in the use of information and communications technologies. States have agreed to be guided in their use of such technologies by a framework composed of non-binding norms of responsible state behavior and concrete confidence and capacity building measures. Crucially, states have also affirmed the applicability of international law in cyberspace. A new intergovernmental process has been established for the period 2021 to 2025, through which states are exploring ways of further elaborating norms and principles with a view to building trust and reducing risk and escalation in the use of information and communication technologies. But states alone do not bear the responsibility of ensuring the peace and security of cyberspace. When it comes to cybersecurity, efforts by a diverse set of stakeholders are essential to effective, sustainable solutions. Stakeholder contributions are particularly important as ICT infrastructure is often developed and managed by private sectors. What is more, private sector entities can directly support implementation of the normative framework agreed by states, such as through supply chain security of their ICT products. Businesses, non-governmental organizations, academia, and other relevant stakeholders are also playing an important role through partnerships with states in the areas of training, research, and facilitating access to the internet and other digital services. In addition to global efforts, governments have also recognized the importance of regional and sub-regional approaches to cybersecurity. Regional and sub-regional exchanges can establish new avenues for collaboration, cooperation, and mutual learning. In this regard, I wholeheartedly welcome this inaugural Secure Asia-Pacific event as an occasion for cybersecurity practitioners of the region to exchange on critical technical topics from ransomware to cyber analytics to incidents response. ISC Squared, as a membership organization of more than 168,000 professionals with knowledge and experience across critical cyber, information, software, and infrastructure sectors globally, represents a tremendous resource for policymakers. 
Intergovernmental discussions in the field of disarmament and international security regularly benefit from such technical, practical exchanges. As a general principle, the most effective global responses are informed by the real-world experience of those working daily in the relevant field. In this way, I hope the discussions during this event will inform how states address the urgent challenges arising from cyberspace. Distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, cyberspace is a shared space. Thus, its protection demands inclusive and coordinated responses. The United Nations counts on practitioners like those of ISC squared to support us in the pursuit of these responses. Let us all continue to do our part in ensuring cyberspace remains safe, peaceful, and accessible. I thank you for your attention and wish you very fruitful exchanges.